So I have a lower body circuit and Tabata workout for you today. It's going to be the express version of circuit and Tabata. So just one circuit, one Tabata, it's going to be mostly lower body focused, but our back will definitely get some love as well. So for equipment, you're going to need a resistance band loop. Don't go too tight because we're going to have it around our feet and you're going to be in a lunge position. So you need a decent range of motion out of it. I'm using my medium one. You could even go lighter than that though. You're also going to need a single heavy ish weight. I'm using a 15 pound weight. And then you're going to want a glider. If you're on hardwood floors, dish towel works great. If you're on carpet, paper plates work, or you can just buy those uh, plastic disc gliders. So for our circuit, I'm going to give you five exercises. We will do each exercise for 45 seconds with 10 seconds of transition time in between. You then rest before repeating. In total, we're going to complete four sets of the circuit twice on each side. For the Tabata, I'm going to give you two exercises. You alternate between them using an interval structure of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest for eight sets. We'll start class with a guided warm up focused on mobility and some light cardio to gradually bring the heart rate up. And we'll finish up class with a quick guided cool down. Um, we only have some minimal jumping in the Tabata. And during those exercises, I'll have a low impact modification playing. So if you want to keep this all low impact, very easy to do so today. All right, let's get right into our warm up. Let's start in tabletop today. So knees down, hands down under shoulders. And then once you're in the stack tabletop, I want you to shift your hips back about six inches to take some weight out of your wrists. And we're going to bring the back of the left hand to our forehead. On an inhale, we're gonna open twist towards the left. And on an exhale, we're gonna close the twist over to the right. Inhale, open. Exhale, close the twist. So we're mobilizing through the thoracic spine here. One more this side, inhaling through the nose. Slow endurance, exhale through the mouth. Come through center and let's switch side. Back of the right hand to the forehead. Inhale, open twist. Exhale, close it. One more. Come through center and shift forward. So shoulders are back over wrists. And we're just gonna take this into a hip circle now. Again, let's start on the left. So you're gonna start with a donkey kick. You drive the heel up towards the ceiling without arching into your lower back. And then you're gonna externally rotate windshield wipering the heel over to the right. You're gonna swing the knee forward, kind of like a fire hydrant lift. And then you lower it down, keep moving like that. So these are slow controlled hip circles mobilizing within that hip joint. One more this direction. And then just switch direction. So start with the hydrant, that left knee lifts up and open to the left. You swing it back. You rotate bottom of the foot up towards the ceiling and you lower twice more. Maintain a neutral spine. So we're using our glutes to control this movement on our lower back. And then let's take it over to the right. Start with the donkey kick. We drive it up. We externally rotate. We swing it forward into the side and we lower down. Switch direction. Start with the hydrant. Right knee lifts up to the right. We swing it back. We rotate foot up towards the ceiling and we lower twice more. From here, I want you to tuck your toes under. I want you to lift the knees up to a bare plank cover. And then from here, hips up, heels down in a down dog, and then just bend the knees back to that bare plank position. So opening up to the backs of the legs here, bare plank to down dog. We're gonna hold in the down dog. Next time those hips lift up, pause here. I want you to inch from your hands in towards your feet. And then I want you to elongate through the spine. You can kind of slide your hands up your shins. So we're in this neutral spine position, a hinge of the hips, unlock through the knees, hands can come to heart center. And then from here, we're gonna drop into a squat. So you're gonna bend the knees, 
tailbone down, chest lifts. And then from here, I want you to lift the hips, come back to your hinge. We drop to our squat. We return to our hinge. So we're maintaining a neutral spine as we do this. We're just changing the angle of it. Deep bend to the knee, squat. Just a little micro bend to the knees and the hinge. Next time you come back into the hinge position, I want you to pause here, really reach your hips back and just bend and press through the knees. It's a little pulse. Now we are going to do a lot of these exercises holding the weight at our chest. So we wanna make sure we're really connected to our mid back. So we're just gonna do some reverse flies. I want you to pause with a soft bend of the knees, reach your arms forward, and then from here, reverse fly, opening and closing, focusing on the retraction of the shoulder blades. They glide in towards each other as those arms open. We're gonna come into some dynamic movement, some light cardio. We're gonna start with a squat to a hip circle. Give me two more. Last time, I'm gonna to turn to face you. We're gonna start with just a squat to a hip circle, alternating side to side. So I'm gonna give you three exercises. We'll go through them twice. Up next, wide stance, side lunge, reach and twist. One more hip circle. And then I want you to separate those feet. Side lunge to one side, opposite hand towards the opposite foot. Stay connected to your adductors, your inner thighs as you do this. So that the knees stay tracking forward and they're not dumping outside of the pinky toes. Good old fashioned jumping jacks coming up next. If you wanna keep it low impact, you can do a step jack in two, in one, stand it up. Jumping jacks or to modify, step jack side to side. We'll start from the top, squat to hip circle in four, three, two, one. Side lunge, reach and twist in two and one. Wide stance, reach and twist. Reach your hips back, stay open through the chest as you do this. We'll finish up this warm up with a final round of jumping jacks. And then I'm gonna show you the exercises to expect in our circuit. Jumping jacks in two and one. Jumping jacks. So the setup of the band and the glider will be a little funky. So I want you to pay attention during this preview. In four, three, two, one. Here's your exercise preview. So for the band setup, it's gonna be around one ankle as your anchor and on the arch of the other foot. First exercise, it's gonna be a sliding side lunge with a skate at the bottom. From there, we build off of that. It's gonna be just the skate. We're gonna add in an opposite row and you're, you're noticing them kind of pulsing down as the leg skates out. We're then gonna square it off, very similar. We're going to do a sliding back lunge with a knee slide at the bottom. From there, you have the option to ditch the weight or you can hang on to it, that back leg. We're gonna hold low in the lunge and we're gonna do a sweep. So think side lunge to curtsy lunge, sweeping that leg, stabilizing through the target side. Fifth and final exercise, slight position change of the band. It's gonna be around both arches. Weight is on one shoulder, it's a squat pulse, and then a stand with a straight leg abduction out on the band. Squat, pulse, stand, little abduction. All right, we're gonna go through this one four times, 45 seconds in exercise, 10 seconds of transition time in between. Let's do it. So you'll mirror me to start. Let's have the band anchored around our right ankle, just above the ankle, okay? Not right on the joint. And then you'll put it around the arch of your left foot and the ball of that left foot is going to be on your glider. We'll start with that sliding side lunge with the skate at the bottom. So you're gonna grab your weight and you're just gonna hold it at your chest. At any point, if the weight gets to be too much, you can always ditch it. So when we do this sliding side lunge, think, Hips back, I don't care how far out the left leg goes. Let's go. Side lunge at the bottom, you're gonna skate the left knee in and out, and then you rise up. So I want you to picture the right side of your body is up against a wall as you do this. So we're not sending our hips out to the left, we just send that left leg out. Now we stay open through the chest as we do this, so you're gonna be connected through your mid back this whole time. Oh. <sighs> 
we'll build off of this one up next. When we do, the weight is going to come into just your left hand. Okay, so now holding low in the lunge position, weight is just in your left hand. You're going to give me a row as the left knee slides in. And then as you send it out, I want you to sink a little lower. So we kind of have this little pulse going on the right as we row and skate. Now there are a lot of moving parts here. If you need to take one piece of the puzzle out, go for it. You can always eliminate the row and just hold the weight at your chest or ditch the weight altogether and just go body weight. Challenge yourself. Can you sink just that one inch lower when the leg skates out? Stay open through the chest. Engage through your core so we're not sinking into our lower back. We're going to square off. Up next. Band stays in the same setup though. It'll be a sliding back lunge. Weight will come back to your chest. Okay, so weight in both hands. Square it off. We still have that back left heel lifted. So now hips slide back into your back lunge and give me a knee slide at the bottom. Left knee comes in, left leg goes long, and then we come up. When we do this back lunge, we're hinging forward. So your shoulders are over the front knee. We're not staying upright through the torso. Now for our fourth exercise, it's going to be the leg sweep of this back leg holding in a semi lunge position. You can keep the weight where it is for this, or you can do this next one, just body weight. Okay. All right. Now we're holding low in the semi lunge position. Your left leg sweeps across to the right, like a curtsy, and then it sweeps out like a side lunge to the left. You're not in your absolute lowest lunge on this right side, but you're not coming up right. And again, if the weight is too much, ditch it. Now, as the left leg sweeps, we want to stabilize through the right knee. So it stays tracking in line with your middle toes. It's not wobbling around. Keep reaching your hips back. Try to keep equal length through both sides of your waist. The band is gonna come around both arches up next. So we'll just switch the position on the right foot and we'll ditch the glider. You got it. Stick with me. Weight is gonna come onto our right shoulder up next. Woo, let's go. So weight comes onto your right shoulder. Now the band is around both your arches and we ditch that uh, glider. So it's going to be a squat pulse. And then as you come up your left leg, little abduction, squat. Pulse, stand, a little press out on the band. As you come up to stand, make sure you're firing through the right side glutes. They are stabilizing as you give me that little press out on the left side. And done. Woo. All right, take 30 seconds to rest. We're going to do that same thing. We're just going to do it on the other side. When we get to the halfway point, by the way, I'll give you a full minute to recover. So we switch the setup a little bit. Band is going to be around your left ankle and around the ball of the right foot. Right foot is on the glider. We'll start with that sliding, sliding side lunge. Let's grab our weight. We're going to hold it at our chest. Sliding side lunge with that skate at the bottom. Spread out through that left foot, plant down. Let's go. Hips go back, one skate at the bottom. Woo! Now a great way to modify all these exercises. Go lighter with your weight, or you can even ditch it. Or if the resistance band is the issue, ditch the resistance band, okay?
Next exercise builds off this one. The weight will be in our right hand. It'll just be that skate. Okay, let's go. So you take it down to the bottom. You're rowing as the knee draws in. Weight goes down as the leg goes out. Can you sink a little lower? Really challenging our depth on this one. Think of reaching your hips back. Again, remember left side of your body alignment. Picture it's up against a wall. Now don't start to round forward through your upper body. So open chest, we are connected to our mid back. You should start feeling your mid back as we go through this circuit in a good way, not in a straining way. If you're feeling more low back, then you're probably not engaging through your core. We got something off with the positioning. If you're feeling mid back working, it's a good thing. Woo. Okay, we're gonna square it off. Weight comes back to your chest. We have that sliding back lunge with the knee slide at the bottom. So as you send the hips back, we hinge forward with the torso. Your right knee slides in. You push that right leg back, then you come up. Now your feet, you're not walking on a tight rope here. Your feet are hips distance apart. So think train tracks, not tight rope. Next one, you have the option to ditch the weight for that leg sweep. I kept it on the first side, so I'm gonna keep it on this side. But for the second half of this circuit, honestly, I might just go body weight on that one. But I want my sides to be even, so I'm keeping it, <laughs> at least for this one. All right, let's go. So you find a semi-low lunge, not all the way at the bottom. Stabilizing through your left foot, right leg sweeps to the left, woo, like a curtsy, and then sweeps to the right like a side lunge. Go slow with this one. If the band is too much, ditch it. Keep reaching those hips back. Try not to crunch side to side through your hips and torso. Think hips back, not left knee forward. Woo. Harder to stabilize on this side for me. Weight will come to your left shoulder up next. We'll have that squat pulse. Band is gonna be around both arches. Ditch the glider. Let's do it. Ditch the glider and then band around both arches. Weight to your left shoulder. So squat, give me a pulse at the bottom as you come up. Right leg lifts off. Left foot stays down, it's our base. Full 60 seconds of recovery on the other side of this. Oh, full 60 seconds to rest. We're at the halfway point of our circuit. Okay, now notice how you're feeling. If form started to get a little sloppy, maybe we go lighter with the weight, maybe we ditch the band. <sighs> Grab a drink of water if you need it. Might as well fix this painting while we recover. A little uneven, bothering me. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can't even tell in the video. All right, let's get set up. Round number three. So we're gonna anchor the band around our right ankle again. You'll be mirroring me, and then it goes on the ball of your left foot. Ball of the left foot is on the glider. Keep the heel lifted, because I want you to keep more weight on this right side. We will grab our weight. We'll start with that sliding side lunge with the skate at the bottom. All right. And again, think hips back, not hips out to the left. Oof. 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 
So those 10 seconds of transition time, I'm purposely calling it transition time and not rest because I want you to as best you can go one move right to the next. But if you need 10 seconds to kind of stand up and shake it out, then use it, okay? Weight is gonna come into our left hand up next. All right, let's just skate it out as the knee draws in. We row. Can you pulse an inch lower as the leg goes out? So these first two moves, we're focused on lateral movement. We're gonna switch it, squaring it off, working front to back, up next. Weight will come back to your chest. Oh, square it off. Weight back to your chest. Square those hips. Sliding back lunge with the knee slide out the bottom. Hips go back. Picture from the top of your head to that back left heel is one long diagonal line at the bottom. Now for the next one, we're gonna do those leg sweeps. I am gonna ditch the weight. You do not have to though. If you're feeling good, keep the weight. All right, I'm gonna put the weight down. We're holding in our semi-lunge position. Your back leg stays straight. You sweep it across to the right like a curtsy. You sweep it out to the left like a side lunge. Keep reaching those hips back. We are staying stable through the pelvis and this front leg. If you are having trouble stabilizing the knee, first try ditching the band. Second tip, try it barefoot so that we can utilize the stability of our big toe. Plant down through that big toe. Yes, you're gonna feel more weight in your heel for sure, but try not to lift up that big toe, it's helping. Weight will come to our right shoulder up next, we'll ditch the glider. Band will be around the arches of our feet. All right, ditch the glider and then just step on the band with that right foot so it's around both your arches. We are going to squat down. Give me a pulse. As you stand, the left leg gives me that little abduction, that little kick out to the side. Now you're doing that little kick by firing through the outer hip, not by just crunching into your torso, okay? So I want you to exhale, brace through the core, outer hip, fires. Almost done with this side. Oh, rest. Take 30 seconds. If you need longer though, Pause the video. We have just one more time through this circuit to go. Left will be the focus. And then you're done with your circuit work and we just have our quick Tabata. The circuit is the bulk of the class. All right, so the band is gonna be around your left ankle, above it, not right on the joint, and the arch of your right foot. Grab that weight. Final time through, we got this. Sliding side lunge with that skate at the bottom. Weight at your chest, open through the chest, let's go. Hips slide back. One skate at the bottom, then come up. So I know I'm a broken record about this, but the connection to your back when we're doing this leg work is very important. So if 
your lower back is talking to you right now in a not so great way, ditch the weight, okay? Ditch it. Because we don't want to strain anything. If you're a mid back, like the area sort of the back of your rib cage in between your shoulder blades, if that area of your back is talking to you in a good way, then great. That's to be expected because we have a front loaded exercise here. Weight will come into our right hand up next for that skate and that row. All right, let's go. So take it down to the bottom. And then from here, we're gonna skate and row. Maybe add in that little pulse, sinking lower as the leg goes out. We're not coming up very high though, okay? Woo. Stick with me, last time you have to do this one. Last time you have to do all of these. We'll square off. Up next, weight will come back to center. Think of retracting this right shoulder blade as you row. Square it off. All right, sliding back lunge. Knee slide in and out at the bottom. So for our next one, I'm gonna choose to put my weight down. If you wanna challenge, keep it right at your chest though, okay? Like I did the first half. All right, I'm gonna put the weight down. You do not have to. We're in our semi-lunge position. This back right leg is straight. You sweep it over the left like a curtsy. Then you sweep it over woo, to the right like a side lunge. You can also always keep your hand on something as you do this. Maybe you have a chair nearby or a wall. Ditch the band if this one isn't happening. It is still challenging without it. Woo. For the next one, our final one, weight is around the arches of both feet. We ditch the glider. Oh man, all right. So step on the band, it's around both your arches. Weight is going on your left shoulder. We squat, pulse at the bottom, stand, right leg does that little kick out. Home stretch of our circuit. Almost there. Oh, and done. Woo. All right, you have a full 60 to recover. Oh, grab a drink of water if you need it. I'm gonna show you what's coming your way in your Tabata. No glider for our Tabata. We're gonna have the band around our thighs. First exercise, it's gonna be a squat lift. So it's not quite a squat hop. It's not quite a squat to a calf raise. You have the weight, we're coming down. We're coming up as if we were gonna hop, but the balls of our feet don't leave the floor, but they almost get weightless, okay? So think squat, float, heels down, float, heels down, like that. You can always do it body weight instead, no weight. That would be a great way to modify. If you're not comfortable lifting and lowering the heels, you can also just give me a squat pulse. Second exercise, no weight. It's gonna be a squat jump, side step. Squat jump, side step, staying low. 
to modify that one, it's an air squat side step, air squat side step, no jump, keeping it low impact. 20 on, 10 off, modifications will be playing. Let's do it. So we're gonna start with that weight. It's kind of like a goblet squat with that sort of float. It's not quite a hop. So you're gonna hold the weight at your chest, elbows in and down, open through the chest. Gentle press out on that band. Let's go. Squat float. It's almost a hop, but the balls of your feet and your toes don't have to come off the ground. Maybe they do a little bit if you're comfortable, but you do not have to. Modification, you are keeping those heels down. Just give me a squat pulse, Whew, rest. All right, body weight, squat, jump, side step. Let's go. Rest, grab the weight. Squat, float. Push out on that band. Go. You can turn a little into a little hop if you want to. Otherwise, you just have that little moment of weightlessness and you're down in the squat. Oh, rest, weight down, squat jump, side step. Go. Rest, okay, we're halfway there. You got it, in two minutes we cool down, you can do this. Grab that weight, squat float. Go. Rest, weight goes down. You know the drill, squat jump, side step. Go. Rest. All right, we have one more set together. You got this. Goblet squat position with that weight. Squat with that little float. Go. Oh, keep it up. Keep the weight close to your chest. Weight down, we're done with the weight. Final 20, squat jump, side step. Go. Cool down's on the other side. We made it squeaky. We made it. We made it. Okay, you can ditch the band. Gonna bring you through a quick cool down. I liked that one. A little bit of everything, weights, gliders, bands. Let's take a standing quad stretch. Grab one foot in your hand, heel in towards your bum. Drop your tailbone down, neutral through the pelvis. Whew. 
release the foot, take it to the other side. As I fall over, we're going to do a stretch for the back of the leg. Standing, I want you to bring your right heel on the ground, a little in front of the left, square the hips, and then bend into your back left knee and send the hips back, folding forward. You can bring the hand to the shin or the foot if you'd like, or you can keep it on your hips, doesn't matter. Coming up, let's take it over to the other side. Other heel plants in front, square the hips, and then bend into your back knee and hinge the hips back, folding forward. Don't think of rounding forward so much as hinging forward. Then once you've hinged as far as you can through the hips, then you can round through the spine, that's fine. And then if you have a chair or a couch nearby, let's sit on it for a figure four stretch. You can do this on the ground if you don't, or laying down on your back. So we're just gonna cross one ankle over the opposite thigh. Gentle pressure out with the forearm. And then from here, I just want you to lean forward a little bit, getting into that outer hip. I do not have to lean forward very far to feel it. We got some good glute outer hip work in today with that lateral work. How are your hips and glutes feeling squeaky? Good and tired? <sighs> Switch sides, other ankle crosses. Oh, it's, is it belly rub time, honey? Is it belly rub time? I've been getting questions lately about where Pickles is. It's right there. She has like a new favorite spot. It's unfortunately out of view of the camera, so we don't see her as much, but she is all is well with Pickles. She's still ruling the household like the diva she is. All right, and then let's just finish with one breath together. Inhale, arms sweep up, grow tall. Exhale, release. Huh. And that is your class. Awesome work today. See you next time.